Aren't you afraid to, at some point, uh, get too much alienated from your original roots or where the band came from? Um, I don't. That would be really difficult for us to do because we play so much. We're not the type of band that is uh, resting on our laurels or becoming, you know, getting far away from what we've done. I and mean, we still jam and play every day. And you know, we still live in Hollywood and we still go to the places that we always went and hang out with the people that we always hung out with and do the things that we do and walk the streets of Hollywood and live the life that we've always lived. And I think with us, especially with Anthony and I, it's not sudden, you know? Yeah. I mean, the whatever popularity and fame that we have right now, which is really not that much in the big scheme of things, but I mean, we're doing pretty well. Mm -hmm. It's uh. <laughs> You know, I mean, it's not like we all of a sudden put out our first record and had a hit single and made a million dollars, you know? And we've been working at this thing for a long time, and it's like built, 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 slowly, slowly, slowly. There's never been a big meow, you know? Somebody like John is probably a little different because for him it's been much more it's, sudden. It's much more sudden for him. I said for Chad it's different too because Chad's been playing in bands since he was a little kid. And this is John's first band he's ever been in. He's just so dedicated to music and so dedicated to his guitar that it's. I think it, he's dealing with it pretty well because mm -hmm. all he, he doesn't really care about money or anything like. And he just accepts that he's in a popular band. It's just you know that's just the way it is. All the girls want to fuck him. Everybody wants to be his friend or whatever. But uh, he just, you know, he just sits in his house playing guitar all day, so I don't know. <laughs> so how do you cope with all these girls that want to fuck you? Oh, you know, as David Lee Roth once said, I don't get all the girls I want, I just get all the girls that want me. And, uh, and you know, I, I don't really spend much time dealing with it. I usually, lately, I just haven't been having sex because I just don't enjoy it. Hopefully this guy will go around you. Yeah. I just stopped enjoying sex at one point, so right now I just concentrate on writing music for the album, and, uh, and every once in a while I have sex if somebody comes along who I'm attracted to and I really feel it in my loins, which is really rare mm. for me to feel a sexual attraction that just flows through my balls. See, one time, I used to have this girlfriend named Amanda, and we were always breaking up, and she was crazy. She was just completely nuts. And this girl is so crazy that one time, she, she uh, was on her period, and we were playing a strip card game. We were stripping, me and her and her friend and my friend Bill. We were all completely naked, and then the losing team had to eat, lick one part of the winning team's body, that they said, and then she took a bloody tampon from the girl who was on the winning team, completely bloody, she had to lick the tampon. Not only did she lick a little bit of the tampon, but she put it in her mouth and sucked it like it was a cock. And just, <sighs> a really bloody brown tampon. How decadent. It was awful. She's a nut. <laughs> what kind of people do? You so that you asked how I deal with yeah. all the girls that want to fuck me. These are the types of girls that keep showing up, so that's why I don't have sex anymore, because I, I don't have the energy to deal with those kind of situations anymore, because I want to deal with playing music.
I hear you're a big fan of Lowell George. Yeah, right. That's right. So that's you must be pretty true. impressed with this place. Yeah, then. I am, yeah. <laughs> I mean, this room, you know, is dedicated to Lowell George. Is it, is it yeah? And every yeah. once in a while, Lowell's ghost veers its head. Yeah. Because Flea, is, is Flea insulted him. Flea. I insulted the he ghost. He insulted the ghost. He went to this plaque. I'm not going to do what he did, but he actually took it and he turned it, <laughs> and he and he and he made some snotty comment about wool. <laughs> and then that wall almost <laughs> fell down and hit him on the head to get him back. But so I he tried him. to apologize and he kissed the plaque. <laughs> <laughs> I did. We're was fucking enough, weird. No, was it good enough? Though? We're yeah. fucking weird. Normal people don't run around like kissing plaques and stuff. <laughs> when they're by the, when the guys are by themselves. I thought that I was going scared. I give a sincere apology to the plaque because I thought the ghost of Lowell was going to come and like invade my testicles in the middle of the night. See the stain over there in the corner? That's like one of his big puke stains from one of his last good pukes. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, Lowell. What kind of day is this, you guys? Just it's a, a regular day? In it's a, a regular day today. See, we, we we come to this place every day now. It's, it's actually the nicest rehearsal studio we've ever had. We've always had, like, pooty little places. And we have this place blocked out 24 hours a day, so we can just leave our equipment set up. We only, even though we pay to have it 24 hours a day, there's 20 hours of the day that we don't use it. We're such lazy slobs. <laughs> and the other four hours, we use it. <laughs> pussies. Yeah. So where's Anthony? Hey, why aren't you? Anthony? Yeah. I think he's been swallowed up in the, to an abyss of fame and fortune. No, I don't know where he is. He's, he, I think he's working on a movie. Shh, shh. Don't tell him. So what do you do when Anthony's not there? How can you still sort of uh, I don't know how we do it. No, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> we're, just, we're lost. Because he, he, like, tells each one of us exactly what to do. Yeah, he... <laughs> and, and, you know, we're not very good musicians. And, you know,